What's going on, Flight Sim Crew? It's your pilot in command, Ryan, and today I'm just going to quickly show you how to change your aircraft and change the tail number. So, um, I'm going to be changing from the aircraft I have been flying, just a traditional Cessna 172 Skyhawk, over to the modified uh, G1000 that has what's referred to as a glass cockpit. And um, I there's an aircraft that uh, has a smaller scale uh, glass cockpit uh, that I enjoy flying at my flight school. And uh, even though it's, you know, exact same make and model, uh, I feel like the engine has a bit more performance to it and the glass cockpit has some advantages. So I just want to show you if you ever need to change your tail number, which I'm going to do right now, simply um, go into your world map here. You can, uh, um, I'm going to select the airport that I'll be departing from. I'm not going to do a full video today. This is just a quick uh, little guide and then select the aircraft. It'll allow you to change things like, you know, the paint scheme that you like, weight and balance. Uh, one thing, every time when we go out to fly, we make sure the tanks are at 100. I don't know why Microsoft deems it necessary to put them at 50%. That just seems bad practice. Uh, <laughs> first thing I do uh, when I'm pre-flying the airplane is actually check the fuel to make sure that the student that had it before me did not fail to um, have uh, the ground crew come and top off the tanks, which often they do. So I go ahead and um, I'm here I'm up in this to 100, but that is one of the first things that I do in pre-flight because I don't want to wait around for a fuel truck um, eating into my, my precious time. Anyhow, so to change the tail number, we're going to change it here. We're going away from 733 Hotel Hotel, fantastic airplane. However, we are going to change this over to 734 Foxtrot Mike. And um, that aircraft is one that I'm quickly growing fond of, so I'll be flying it more often at my flight school. I do believe it has uh, a glass cockpit, which I'm going to explain in the next video. Slightly different look and feel to it. And so I just figured I would show a quick uh, how to make those changes. Call sign, I've never once heard Tower use call sign, so I don't think that does anything, um, to be quite honest. But I uh, just want to show you guys how to do that real quick. More information on this aircraft in videos to come. Um, Give this video a like if you like the video. Uh, leave a comment if you want to know more about any particular thing at all. I'll be happy to answer as best I can. And um, we will see you in the next video, folks. Thank you so much. And take it easy.